Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Neo Tanner's First Impressions. I'm Neo Tanner, and here we take a look at Team Indy. Now first things first, that I've been explicitly told after obtaining a preview copy of this, that this will be released on October 9th. I will link to the Steam Store page in my description, and if you like the game like what you see at this first impression, you can go get it, basically. Alright, now this is supposed to be a platformer crossover with the guy from Braid, the robot from uh, Awesome Knots, Bit Commander Bit Trip, and a few other people I don't really recognize, because I don't think I've... Well, I think one of them is from Dust Force, but I haven't really played most of the games. Now, let's just go to the tutorial right now. Or, the tutorial is not even a tutorial. Marvin the Cat is kind of the video game world. Your indie character friends have different special skills to help you free Marvin. Play co-op with your previous runs and bend time to master puzzles and action sequences. Thanks to all the indie devs for allowing us to use their characters. Now, you can use a controller or you could use a keyboard, but the keyboard controls are not rebindable, so I highly recommend that you just use a controller. If you don't have the keyboard, there are the controls right there. You use you use the arrow keys to move, which unfortunately I would much prefer WASTI. Jumping is D, I would much prefer that to be space. Or your special attack, I, I don't know, make that X. Undo run being X is weird, and fast forward being F is also a little bit weird. That's why I'm just going to go ahead and use a controller, because the controller makes sense. Special is your X button. Jump is A. Move with the analog stick, or in my case, since I can switch my analog stick and my T-pad around. In a 2D platformer, it is, it is I feel it's much better to use a, the D-pad. Left button, right button, undo run, and fast forward. We got all of that. If you look at the options, we don't have that much. We turned down the volume and everything, and it's still pretty loud, even though I turned it down to 30%. Uh, you can full in. All you need to do is change the full screen resolution and everything. It's not. It's a 2D game. It's not going to be that bad. Now let's just start at the first level. I already went through the first level because I did a test run. I didn't realize how short it would be. Okay, Marvin, how did you get into my computer? I don't know. Oscar ripped off my necklace, and suddenly I was here. Oscar, why did he do this? I'm not sure. I'm just a cute little cat, and now he thinks I'm taking over his place. How do I get out of here? This world looks like a series of levels hidden within our treasures. We have to find them. Also, collect gems. Gems never harm. Just get them as well. What's over this way? Or can I not go up there? I cannot go up there. See, right now, as you can perfectly tell, that this is pretty much a classic platformer. I don't know why the game zoomed in here. If I touch those, I basically get reset. Let's just touch it for... See, it reverses you... When you touch those... When you touch those, it turns you back here. Though, I believe it has not exactly uh, given me a tutorial on how to use that yet. Find treasure to collect metals. And it's basically the classic vein of of like uh, normal platformers like Mario and such. You hit this. And you just go and collect. Though I don't think I'm using this mechanic correctly. They haven't explained it yet, and I'm assuming it only comes into play really uh, later on because it's just there to tell you that it's there. We let's go, Marvin. And there we go. All finished. Got all of the gems and everything. And now we'll go to level two, which looks like I'm going to be introduced to Commander Bit Trip. Wow, it worked, Commander Video. Okay, Commander Video. That's his name. What's going on? I was just about to finish a level and suddenly... I'm sorry to interrupt you. I found a way to hack you into this game. Marvin tr is trapped in this world. He can't solve the levels by himself. You're one of my favorite video game heroes. Do you mind helping us? Let's do this! 
The giant flowers are too big to jump over. Maybe you can slide through? Oh, that's the slide! Oh, I get it. The blue are for... Oh, like... Okay. The blue are for me. The red are for Marvin. Okay, so I get that. I kind of I kind of find it funny that they uh, implemented the and now you play as Marvin. So basically, you play with yourself. You have to wait for him to slide. So for, so pretty much, it's more or less what you do is that you use uh, the other characters. It's like it's basically a puzzle game. You use the other characters to solve what's going on in in the level, which is a pretty cool concept. I'm sorry if I'm all over the place, but uh, I was trying to figure out the right plays. But anyway, enough of that. Level three. No, we're still getting Commander Video as help. I like that concept where basically you're co-oping with yourself. Hmm. <laughs> There's a thing over there, and I want to get it. Well, it looks like there's a thing over there. It looks like there very much would be a thing. What is the hell is that? Well, okay, you're gonna be like Mario there. Does Mario even have a special? No, it does not. He he does not. Uh, it. Damn it! Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to slide. Oopsie. Yeah, your progress gets reset every time you, like, take damage or something. Which makes sense. And now you play as Marvin, you get up here. I'm gonna go past this stuff. I don't know what those, like, gray things are, though. Unless they just... Oh, unless him moving past it stops the platforms. Is that what that happens? Aha! More medals. Let us not touch you guys. I guess those are actually enemies. Those aren't at. Those aren't actually helpful to you. So they're more obstacles. You touch. You touching them sends you back. I don't think it actually, like in theory, kills you. But we can try that out in this next one. I'm assuming jump over these. Wait, what? I have no choice but to choose Bit Trip Runner. Or Commander Video, rather. Oh, it's a teleport. Yeah, I need a slide. <laughs> nope. Let's see. Let's go with the middle one. Oh, there's another bit trip. Wait, what? Okay, I was right the first time going this one. Don't jump over it! Yeah, this one goes to the third one. Shit. This one's supposed to go to the third one. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting to use the slide. I am good at video games. And now I'm Marvin. Well, Marvin can go in all three, because it doesn't matter. I need to get up there and get that other medallion metal thingy. He's all happy. And we need to go to the middle one. And we go! Fantastic. 
And now we are going to be getting a new person that's helping us. 4.2 is down here though. What is is that an optional course? Yeah, it looks like an optional course. Let's do it. It might be one of those games that has an optional course. You don't need it for for progression purposes. But it it's nice to like have. Do 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 do. I'm not quite sure what this is doing. Am I supposed to start off as the bit trip guy? Commander video. And then just get my It just seems like that was that's what you're supposed to do. You were supposed to get to Marvin so you could be Marvin and get the medals. Metal 09 runner. Well, I got them out of order because I got the 10, because I just went backwards. 10, 9, 8 with the achievements on Steam that I just got. We Get that. Am I missing any others? Eh, I doubt it. It it just looks like Team Indy is more of done in the vein of the very classic Mario style kind of platforming. It seems a bit easier, however, but this is the beginning of the game, so it could become much harder. This is probably only World 1. I'm already on level 5. Let's just figure figure this out where it goes. Okay, who is that guy? Yeah, here we go, Jitters. Wah, wah. Calm down, Jitters. Marvin, my cute little cat needs your help. Okay, just don't scare me again. Where are you? Like, seriously, where are you from, Jitters? I don't understand what the platform is supposed to do. Power up for a second platform. What? Okay. You see five more here, platform jump. Yeah, how shitty I'm doing here is gonna probably affect my Marvin playthrough. Damn it. I'm gonna assume go off screen and let the power ups return. No, there's no there's no power-ups! Shit! Oh. If I mess up, I... Oh yeah, I forgot. Undo last turn is left button. And now we're Martin. Now I gotta deal with my bullshit. Let's go. Shit. No. 
I almost had it that time. Curse you. Curse you. I didn't actually need that platform, apparently. Come on, Jitters. Let's go, Jitters. Medallion 01, the Great Jitters. Hold RB to fast forward. I forgot that happened. Oh no! Okay, I gotta fix that again. Don't need the platform jitters. I know you're me, recorded. Which is a pretty cool concept. I think the only... I think Time Splitters use this concept a little bit, and uh, I know Blink's the Time Sweeper for the original Xbox used uh, the whole um, thing. And I know Ratchet and Clank at Crack in Time used it for Clank. Uh, like for his puzzles where he can control time with a scepter. Just get those already. That way I only have to worry about one. And there we go. It took me three minutes and 48 seconds, but oh well. Alright, we're on level six now, I believe. Now that I understand this a little bit more, it's actually a pretty cool concept. You c Basically, as I said earlier, you co-op with yourself, you help M Marvin solve problems because he has no special abilities as far as I can tell, unless it's late game. Right now, he has no special abilities, so he needs these characters' help because they have special abilities. So all I have to do is use you for a platform. Yep. No! Okay, that, re that resets the entire thing, apparently. That's the only time I need you, Jitters. Oh no! I guess one of one of Martin's abilities is being able to float down when you jump. Wanted to get that. Let's see. Alrighty. Oh no! Yeah, maybe maybe the platform's a little high. Okay, cool. It's saying up. Okay. No, 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 no! no. Oh, wow, that's. Okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Come on, jitters. I know I'm the one screwing up, but come on. I put that platform way too high. I, I love it. This is a nice game, because it's a little... I feel like it's a little bit casual, but, um, so far. It's a nice puzzle game, and a nice way of exercising your brain of how to use more than one character to get through things. I like a thingy here. That Commander Bit Trip can use. I keep calling Commander Bit Trip. <laughs> Commander Video. I need to go back here and get that power up. Oh, 
Oh, wait. That is not what I was supposed to do. That's why that uh, thing's up there, so I can go get those, but I still have the platform down there. Damn it. Okay. Jitter, you are not cooperating. We Let's not touch that. Oh no! Well, that's what I get for thinking I can fly. I need to follow him if I want to get that thing up there. No, I for I forgot that I can't. Okay, that's okay. Now I understand. I understand. Now it's starting to put my brain to the to the test. That or I'm just stupid. I would, it would be a safe bet to go with a second option. Safe bet. Honestly. But I need to get that one then. Huh. Well, I don't have to get all of it. I'll just do that later. Metal two, the great jitters. The kind of lost cause. I guess I guess you get the metal first, then you come back and you get the rest of it. And we are a bouncy, bouncy fun boy. Oh, I could have gone down. There's different pathways, and I like that. Okay, come on. Uh, I know it's me when I'm impatient for myself. Okay, there we go. Sweetness. More sweetness. I don't know what was down there, but I'll check it later. seven minutes. I almost got them all. But I missed one Great Jitters trophy. 
Oh, okay. Level 7 is where it gets int- 7.1 gets interesting, you use both. But, as an interesting twist, this is where I will end the first impression video. If you guys like what you see, go and buy the game, pre-order it now. It's going to be released on Thursday, October 9th. I'm going to try getting this video up before then. But it, keep in mind, it's not out yet, as of this video. And I am actually recommending you guys try it out if you're a big fan of classic platformers and the sort of time-bending kind of concept that stuff like Braid, Blinks the Time Sweeper, Ratchet and Clank, A Crack in Time had, and Time Splitters also had. I don't know if it actually had a time mechanic. I know it was about time travel, though, as far as I could remember. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay classy. I'm Neo Tanner, signing off.